right, watch fans. Today, I've got uh, a little something different. I'm going to be uh, restoring a watch, uh, or I guess, shoot, I don't know if it's restoring. It's not really restoring, but I will be kind of servicing a watch. <clears throat> it is a very nice uh, Bulova. Uh, it's got Mother of Pearl face. I don't know if that comes out very well. Let me clean it. Uh, it's actually a very nice watch, but uh, it is broken. It is uh, very hard to... I've already opened it up and looked at it before. It's very hard to set the time. Of course, this isn't the greatest uh, knob either, but it's very rough. Uh, and there's things wrong with it. It simply just doesn't run. Uh, it is just a mess. Um, so, <clears throat> I'm going to replace the movement. I actually have a new one which I purchased from Esslinger. Uh, I've got everything here. I'm gonna kind of set it up. Esslinger is great. I really like Esslinger. I get all my watch parts from them, pretty much everything, quite honestly. So, let's see, I think the movement was, it's an ETA movement, which you'll see. I paid $15.95 and then another $3.92 for shipping. So the grand total was $19.87, and that's really all I need to replace. Some of this video I will be fast forwarding so that you can, uh, so you don't have to sit through uh, the nonsense. Uh, but what's good is when, <clears throat> when uh, Esslinger sells their watches, they usually give you a, uh, a full stem like this, and then they give you an additional stem uh, plus a couple gears and the bushing for the face, which of course I'm going to have to replace. And so I might as well replace that as well. Uh, it comes with the new movement, but they keep it separate because it does just pop off. So, but everything is right here, so I'll be able to test it and I'll start taking it apart. So let's get started. All right, so first thing, <clears throat> deployment class, really nice. I'm going to go and put that in the side. I'm going to go, uh, what's it called? I'm going to go put that in the ultrasonic cleaner and I'm going to do that right now. All right. So first thing about these, about these cases, you can tell it's been sort of picked at a number of different places. Um, somebody probably used a screwdriver. Uh, you really want to use the right tools for this and it can also looks like it's been sort of beat in. That's kind of my guess how they probably put it back in. To reseat these, you really need to use what's called a, <clears throat> a press. And that would be something using the correct number of dies. This, that's how you use it. That's how you close it. Of course, not everyone has one. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I don't blame anyone for wanting to do that. But also, um, in opening these, most people will use tools like this. This is the generic tool for opening it. Or, quite honestly, they'll just use one of these run-of-the-mill screwdrivers which as you can see around here will really scratch up the case uh, and mess it up. So you don't want to use that. You really want to use the right tools. And a tool for this, if I can find it here, would be one of these guys. And it's real simple. It just goes under here. You find a spot that you can actually get it into and you just pop it off. Uh, and then you'll look and see how how fine that tip is, right? You really, really, I mean, this this could cut you, so you gotta be careful, but you really wanna make sure that you're not scratching up these cases. So I've had this open before. Um, I don't have this gasket, but it looks fairly pliable. So I think I'll re-grease it and put it back because I don't think he's gonna wear this. Um, interesting. Bulova makes great watches, but look, made in Hong Kong, which is okay. We've had that discussion before. A lot of their watches are assembled in Hong Kong, but made elsewhere. So I'll move that to the side. And I'll start picking it. And I'm going to be, uh, quite honestly, very loose with this because I don't really care what happens to this movement. Normally I wouldn't be using my fingers, but I don't really care because we're replacing this anyways. So first thing I need to figure out is how to pop this out.
I could look it up, <clears throat> but I'm just, since I don't care about this mood, I'm just gonna try a different couple things and we'll see. See what moves. I think it's here. You know what? Actually, yeah, see there's an arrow. You see there's a little arrow pointing to it. I don't know if you can see it, so, but that worked. <clears throat> and then remove the clear, this, this plastic isolator. Well, we're going to reuse that, so we do want to take care of that. These two things, definitely want to take care of. I usually have a uh, little lid or something that I put it in. But you know what? I'm going to do this. I, I want to make sure that I take care of the hands, so I'm going to put that in there and keep those two things there. I won't lose them. And then flip it. Now, we want to be very careful with these hands, uh, and this is where I'm going to put my finger protectors on. This whole thing... I will probably uh, clean separately. So I'll move that to the side <clears throat> and I'll stop the video when I do this so you can see the before and after. Uh, I'll try and polish up that glass crystal. But these, I wanna be very careful with this movement uh, and the hands. So I'm gonna put my finger protectors on. All right, so the first thing we want to uh, see is how this is attached. Sometimes there's some small screws and other times it just presses on. So I want to identify that and I'm thinking based on the fact that there is a little slot under here that this really just presses on because I don't see any screws. I don't want to be too crazy with it so I'm going to take care to not damage it. Mm, kind of interesting, I don't know what that says in there. So. All right, let's get started. <clears throat> Very first thing, too, is you want to make sure that when you're removing it, you also use the right tools. Um, you don't want to, sorry, you don't want to scratch the face, which is very important because that's half the watch. So you can get these little things. Some people use plastic bags, like they'll literally put this on top. I actually prefer to use these tools. I don't mind spending a little extra money to get what, what I'm supposed to get. So you get that. Let me slide that over. And then <clears throat> I need two of these. Find my other one. I don't know what I did with it. So you can use this or you can use a pair of these, but I'll use a combination of that. Um, so one of the things I obviously forgot is you want the hands to be together when you remove them. <clears throat> so we'll move that up to there, make it easy. Put this back and I'll go ahead and pull them off. Oop, okay, they popped around. It's okay. Okay, and then the second hand, and this one is a have to be a little bit more careful with this because there isn't a whole lot of spacing for it. So I really do need to be careful. I can't just use a normal um, tool. So I will try to pry this carefully. There we go. All right. Very nice. All right, so now I'm going to try and pull this off. Uh, again, I don't see any way that it's particularly attached, so I'm going to just delicately try to see if I can separate it. And it looks like that's how it is. I apologize. So I put my hand, uh, my tool under here. I pry gently. And it looks like all it is is just press fit. 
And so you just carefully move it around and it should just come off. You don't want to force it. It should just kind of pop off because these, they just sort of snap on. So there we go. It's in good shape. And you can see that there was a little bit of finessing that they had to do with the manufacturers. Now, I'm not going to do anything to this, this face, but I'm going to set it aside because I want it to be uh, cared for. Next thing I'm going to do is, um, uh, this I'm basically done. So this is good. Uh, this is actually a new battery, so I'll end up reusing this. Um, I put it in there already just to test it, and that's how I was able to identify. But I want to use all, all new parts because I did buy this new movement. So for things we want to do is get the new items. And for the record, I'm going to probably reuse the... Uh, this, I'm going to clean it in the ultrasonic cleaner, but I'm going to end up reusing that because it's already sized and it's for the same movement. So there's no reason for me to try to reuse this. But since the, uh, my friend who, oh, static cling, all right. Because my friend paid for this movement, uh, I'm going to give him everything so that he's got it all. No point in me keeping any of it. All right. So this is really quite simple. So you just put this back, that goes on there. And then this little thing is the bushing that helps ensure, you know what? I wanna put a little bit of oil on there. Not, it's totally not necessary, just so we're clear, but I like to put a very little bit of oil. <clears throat> Not enough though that it'll end up caking because you don't want that. So I, I use very little. I use the red, the red tool, oiler, oiler, and I just kind of put it around there. Almost nothing, but just so that over time it spreads out and it is lubricated. And then you put the bushing back and the bushing, this is static, it's not magnetism, but, ugh. Good Lord. It's normally easier for me, but it's because I'm not recording it. <laughs> there we go. All right, and now I can go ahead and put the, the face back on. And remember, it only goes one way, so you don't have to say, oh man, I forgot, what direction does it go? <laughs> so, because it only goes one way. Uh, there's only one hole and two slots. So this fits right in there, and you have to be, and I'm, I'm going to try and make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing here. And this gets press fit, and you can use your hands as long as you're wearing these little glove things. Carefully just push it with your hands. You want it nice and tight. There we go. All right. And that's set. And this one I'm just going to put off to the side. But we do, you know what, since while well, I'm at it, we do want to just double check because sometimes there are newer versions of the movement. I don't think that's the case here and we want to ver verify. So I hope you can see it, but they are identical. And that's what we want to see. So I don't need to change out that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put the hands back. There, There is no time, there's no date. So I don't have to worry about that. If there was a date, what I'd have to do is make sure that the hour was at 12 o'clock at the moment that it would be getting ready to change over. But that is not the case on this one. Uh, it is just a simple time, so I can really just put it anywhere I want. Um, I mean, you always wanna put it at 12 o'clock because the minute and the hour hand obviously all need to be at the same time. But, and it's hard for me to do this while I'm recording. 
press it on a little bit. I'm gonna use this tool. And you want good clearance, you want to look. Uh, and it's not so much an important part of this, of course. Um, I'm going to take this off the old because I want to use it now. But basically what you want to do is while you're putting these hands on, you want to check for clearance. So, and I think you never want to touch that uh, gear. So you want to check for clearance, you want to make sure that it's not hitting anything. And so we'll look here, you can see it should just glide perfectly over all the jewel work there of the face. You also want to make sure that it's completely even. And that looks good. All right, so the next one is the minute hand. Second hand is, is actually quite easy, even though it doesn't seem like it. get this off and you want to put this in parallel with the the hour hand and I apologize I normally have much better finesse with this but it's hard for me to do this while recording it Yeah, normally I can just get my face in here, <clears throat> but I'm having a hard time doing it now. <clears throat> like I said, I'll have to use two hands for this. There. Alright, felt it. <clears throat> Again, we want to check for clearance. We want to make sure there's good spacing in there. We don't want this to hit or contact. You want to make a full rotation to make sure that it does not hit. And I have to say, I really like this watch. The more and more I look at it, I really like it. It's very nice. And we're looking good. You might notice there's a couple cracks. That's just because it's mother pearl. Um, that's patina, as they say. Perfect. <clears throat> All right, let's do the second hand. If I can find that little bugger. It's so small. And you know what? My vision's going. I'm not that old. I'm like 42. Uh, but damn. Okay, so this can just go anywhere. Because it doesn't really matter. But honestly. And... Uh, I don't know if doing this stuff without glasses helps or hurts my vision. Because <laughs> I can't see... Uh, as they say, <laughs> sorry, we have to beep that out. All right. I got to wear, I got to wear my glasses cause I can't see it. I got these things that I wear that magnify 500 times. And I'm gonna have to pause it for a minute because I may not be able to see. Nope, I should be able to see, so I don't have to pause the video. But you really wanna be careful because you damage this uh, this watch, secondhand shaft, and the watch is done. Gotta get another movement, and it's another $15. Perfect, and I will use this Press it on. There we go. And I see good spacing. All right. Now I am going to 
temporary. Oh, I keep hitting this. I apologize, guys. Can't help it. Now I'm going to uh, carefully remove this so I can put it back in the case. Because I want to put the battery in. I'm being a little bit more ginger with this one than I was with the other one. There we go. Just gonna carefully put that in. I'm going to clean this case, but I want to replace the battery. Actually, you know what? Is it good? Oh yeah, look, it's good. Cause it's a, it, the Esslinger one came with a new battery. There we go, done. Okay, so I'm going to pause this video because I'm going to clean all these items uh, and then I will reassemble it. So stand by. This I'm going to hand clean. Let me get this as well. I've got first a solution of isopropyl alcohol that helps with drying but it also really helps in cleaning. And I've got Simple Green Extreme Aircraft and Precision Parts Cleaner. Really good stuff. I just pour a little bit in here. Uh, this is the first watch I've done in, God, it's been a while. It really has, probably at least a couple months. So, <clears throat> I don't do it too high. Uh, normally I, I should, but I don't want to waste the water because I don't know how many more I'm going to do. Uh, and I'm going to set it to to get it nice and clean. Oh, I'll do 18 minutes. It's not that dirty. All right. All right. So as you can see, I've taken the parts out of the parts cleaner. So it looks really good. Um, you know, it just gets the normal stuff off and cleans the parts. Everything looks good. I, I generally don't want to put the, um, the case in there unless I plan on taking off the, the crystal because that can actually cause the gasket and everything to, to go bad. The ultrasonic cleaner works really well. And it's just not something that I want to cause damage to. Um, and also, if you notice, this has little uh, jewels in it. Uh, I, can't, I can't say if they, are, um, uh, if they are real or not, but either way, I don't want that damaged. <clears throat> so first thing we're gonna do, right, is we wanna take stock of our parts and we wanna clean up. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything away um, that I don't need because otherwise it's just gonna get in the way and I'm gonna lose stuff and it's not gonna be easy. So I will speed this up. All right, so we're ready to get started. Um, couple things to mention. Uh, the case back, it was damaged, so I had to press it back out again. It looked like whoever had changed the battery had indented the case, impacted it, and so I needed to fix that. Uh, everything has been dried, so everything's good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start putting everything back. You want to use this upon reassembly. You never know, but you just want to make sure that you get all the dust out. I've already cleaned this, but I'm going to do it once more just so you guys can see. I use a microfiber cloth, and it's really important to get the inside clean, the outside not so much, doesn't matter, you can do that after the fact. You wanna make sure you get that clean, get all the dust out, blow all the dust off the face itself, and we can go ahead and put it back in. We know it's working, but you wanna be very careful with this. Um, see, there's it should seat right in there, so you can kinda of put it in there and just drop it in. Make sure you put it in the right side. There we go. Uh, I'm going to use the original uh, because it's the same movement, exact same. I was able to piece the exact same movement and I'm okay with that. <clears throat> I use the Seiko grease and in order to restore the, uh, the natural water resistance, I'm going to pack the crown with grease, which is very important. A lot of people don't do that. Uh, I consider that a really important thing and I lost my grease packing stick uh, somewhere when I was cleaning up. Oh, here it is. Okay. So basically put it as a little point. 
So I just dab a little bit in here, which you can see. Let me make sure you guys can see that. Boom. And I really just pack it around the edge here. Perfect. All right. And now I can just carefully work this in. And you know what? I want to give this just a little bit of oil too. Um, just gonna dab a little bit of oil on this, on the tip of this so that it works well. Okay. And I will carefully move this in here. set okay and now I put this piece in the plastic isolator I can use this wood piece to kind of push it in never want to use too much force because these things can and will break and you have to be very careful these are not cheap watches but they are also very precision and delicate Check everything, it's still running, everything's good, battery is good. So now, you'll notice on here, right, there's a divot, so that's where that goes. Even though it doesn't really need it, but you wanna make sure that you put it in there. Now, upon closer inspection, uh, this gasket is just not gonna do it. So, I'm going to take another O-ring. You don't, I don't really have a gasket this size, and I don't think this was originally shaped like that. So what I will do is I'll take one that is typically a bit smaller, and it will form fit, and that's what you want. So I'll take this guy, <clears throat> and it is a half of a millimeter. <clears throat> and then I have this, the greasing pad. Everybody should always have one of these, and you put that in there. And now I can take this and just seat it around the case back. It's hard to do, but oh, there we go. All right, I'm gonna have to get my hand to. <laughs> All right, I will speed this up. This is not trouble. It's just hard getting it to sit. There we go. All right. So it's ready to go on. Uh, it just presses on here. Remember, make sure you watch the divot so that it goes in the right spot. You can kind of hand press it. And if that doesn't work, I'll use my, I'll use my case press. All right, so I'm gonna use the case press. And just kind of turn it around. No, you know what, this isn't gonna work. I don't wanna damage these dies because once you do, then you're gonna get new ones. Can you see that? All right, good. All right, still working. All right, now let's test it. I can set the time, everything's good. Notice it also has a hacking feature when I pull the crown out. Clock stops, push it in, starts again. All right, I'm gonna set it to the atomic time and we will see. 10.30 exactly. All right, and so I will come back and I will see if the time is still good. And if it is, 
then we are all set. All right. All right. So I just checked the time. <clears throat> I kept it, uh, you know, I, I only waited 10 minutes, That's which isn't necessarily the best thing to do, but I just wanted to make sure that uh, it was at least keeping semi-decent time. Typically what you'll want to do is you'll want to look at it for 24 hours, and I will do that just to make sure. But for the sake of this video, I just want to make sure everything is put together. And this is it. It is certainly a lot cleaner. I will put a before and after picture if I can see if there's a difference. Um, otherwise, this is it. And pretty happy with how it came out. So if you like this video and you want to see more like this, please leave a like. Uh, please discuss in the comments below what you think of this uh, and any thoughts. And, and I think this is actually silver because you can see there's a little bit of tarnish there. But I'll let him clean that. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about it. I didn't put this case in the ultrasonic cleaners. You know, I only put the, the bracelet and the bracelet came out really clean. Uh, it's really nice. But uh, please leave your comments. And if you want to see more like this, please subscribe. Really appreciate it. And figure just also show this cool watch I'm wearing right now. Wear this the entire time I was cleaning it. It's a Wenger Alpine, one of my favorites. So thank you very much. Oh, also, I'm going to give him this. And the uh, the bill. <laughs> but I think he got out pretty easy since he's basically going to have to give me 20 bucks. And that's it. So, all right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.